Check this out. Surge, also known as Pasing in the Philippines, is still out here east of Japan, approaching the Aleutian Islands. And as the name of this video suggests, this is considered a bomb cyclone right now. Why? Well, it simply is just a meteorological term that defines a storm that has dropped 24 hectopascals or millibars in just 24 hours. That equals a bomb. And this graphic actually from my former co-worker over at NHK, Sayaka Mori, she put this together, uh, just shows you this maxed out at about 895 hectopascals back on April 18th, but it did weaken once it was just south and east of Japan and went through the extra tropical phase. But now the dynamics are picking back up where it is more of a potent westerly storm with the pressure dropping again quickly from 988 down to 944 hectopascals. What that simply means is it's just still a potent storm system. I would not want to be a sailor going from Alaska uh, down towards Japan right now. Definitely all shipping traffic is going to be uh, moving south of this. And this just goes out through Saturday. And you can see the potency of this storm. Look at that wind field extending around this. And the Aleutian Islands, believe it or not, maybe eventually over towards Anchorage, are going to feel the effects of a typhoon that was impacting Guam, Palau, and the Philippines just under two weeks ago. So pretty interesting. This is uh, still a very potent storm system out here. Also, believe it or not, the cold front from that and kind of almost the shear line is what brought some showers across Guam here yesterday. And even you could extrapolate that if you really want to pull on that thread all the way down towards Mindanao. The showers out there for you are kind of an influence of this bombing out storm system all the way back towards the Aleutian Islands. Right now though, no tropical threat. One reason for that is that shear line is all that cool air that filtered in behind Surtige. It is just keeping everything pretty much um, relatively calm out here. Plus, this is really interesting. The trail of Surtige, or Bising as in the Philippines, I always try to use both names, did a lot of upwelling. When I talk about upwelling, it basically mixes up the ocean, so it gets rid of that warm surface, basically, out here over the Pacific. And you can see the track of our typhoon in the sea surface temperature anomalies. In fact, just uh, east of Taiwan, look how significant that is, about two to three degrees below average, when just a couple weeks ago, this was all about two to three degrees above average. So uh, this is good news because with that, it's less Latin heat for the development of any future storms out here, or maybe not hindering development, but definitely hindering any explosive development like we saw with Sergei. Also, as I mentioned, it dragged in all this dry air behind it. So you can see just, there's just not a lot of moisture here. There's a bit back here towards the east, but overall that dry air got dragged in and it, the humidity is down in the Philippines, um, even over towards Okinawa as well. And that's really not conducive for further development. I do want to note, though, this moisture coming in out of the Indochina Peninsula, that is going to eventually pull towards the east and really start to bring some more rainfall across eastern China, even over towards Japan. I know you're sitting under an area of high pressure right now, but it's almost like the rainy season front is going to start up just a bit here. And you can watch that moisture kind of pick up as we go ahead through midweek. And this is all the way out through the end of the week by Thursday, Friday, over towards Saturday, uh, pushes over Japan. And even a bit of snowfall, believe it or not, across the uh, Korean Peninsula over towards uh, Hokkaido. Now, of course, these are further north and these are higher elevations, especially in central Hokkaido. I mean, they get snow well into May sometimes and uh, northern portions of the DPRK. Yeah, they... Uh, they, they, it's cold and frigid up there. It's, yeah, it's not uh, terribly warm, but still it's, it's interesting when we're talking about these typhoons and all these storm systems and you actually still got some snow popping up in a few spots up here. But for now, here's the main points, not much in the tropics. Uh, the Suyu front, that is that rainy season front, really trying to set up. I think that we're gonna have to talk more about that over the coming weeks. And the extended forecast still looks 
pretty calm. All right, thank you very much for everybody who's been helping me out on Patreon. I know I've been using those Meteor Earth graphics today instead of Windy. I think they tell the story a little bit better. Uh, that is one of the products that I use this Patreon to pay for, though. It does cost a, a nice little annual fee. It's not terribly high, but I do have a much bigger, bigger graphic package in the works. So if you want to help me out, I really appreciate it. I should probably put this Patreon thing at the beginning of the videos because most people don't watch this far in. If you are still watching, let me know. This is the graphic package I'm looking at. And woo, I'm so excited because we're, ah, we're getting close. Getting close to be able to get this. Very, very close. All right. So check that out. You can stop by westernpacificweather.com and I'll update as much as I should. But the key thing is please subscribe to this channel. Really appreciate that. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.